after a couple weeks hiatus, we're back. Yes, we had a great time with family and a new friend, and um, it was awesome. It was awesome. Having guests on board made our boat feel even more like home. There's no way we could have done a video with them here. It would have been awkward and rude to take all that time to Yeah, make a we video. didn't want to take any time away from our visit. It was too important. Yeah. Okay. This week we're starting out a video on the island of Corchula near the city of Corchula, waiting for my brother and his wife to get off a ferry to visit us for two weeks. Yay! So let's go see what happened. Kay and I are sailing Blackbird around the southern islands of Croatia, along the Dalmatian coast in the Adriatic Sea. This week we start out on the island of Corchula, in a bay not far from the ancient city of Corchula, waiting for the arrival of our first guests on board Blackbird. My brother Eric and his wife Yuki are arriving from Italy to visit and sail with us for the next two weeks on our way to Dubrovnik. As you may have heard, Croatia can be an expensive place to sail, especially since most places have fees to anchor or to use a mooring ball. They have mooring balls without a fee as long as you eat dinner at the bar and grill. The pizza, which is really good, starts at only 9 euros. From the Vanya, the walk to Old Korchula takes only about 40 minutes, and it's a really pleasant walk along the coastal road. Okay, is it hot today? It's blazing hot. And how humid. It feels growing? like 90 percent. Are you growing gills? <laughs> so what do you got there, lemon? Mm-hmm. Lemon sorbet. Out of five stars, how many does this get? It gets five stars for being able to cool you off. Yeah. Flavor three stars because it's not very lemony flavored, but yeah. it's sour, which is good. Yeah. And maybe three and a half stars because it's not super sweet. Sorbet. Sure. <laughs> sorbet. Yeah. It's sorbet. It's delicious right now though. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so what's the average? So average is probably 3.8. So that was from this ice cream shop right here on the corner in Old Corchula. And then we just saw there's another one down there. So we might do a taste test. We decided to wait for the incoming ferry along the eastern side of Old Corchula under the tree-lined street to try and keep cool. But the day just kept getting hotter and hotter. This was a great shady place to boat watch and people watch. We really like this bay south of the old town Korchula. The bay has no anchorage fee and the rock line walls of the bay hold quite a bit of fish species to check out. And the swimming is spectacular. This time in the bay, we deployed our second anchor to keep our bow facing south so the boat would cut through the swells. My brother Eric, his wife Yuki, Kay and I walked into Lombarda for some more gelato as a way to combat the sweltering heat here in Croatia. Daytime highs are about 35 degrees Celsius or 95 degrees Fahrenheit with about 50% humidity. It is hot. <laughs> After staying in this bay for a few days, my brother and his wife wanted to see Lestovo, so off we sailed to one of our favorite places to visit in Croatia. After we left, we had some morning wind, but within an hour the sea was like a mirror. When we see garbage in the water, we usually try our best to remove it. In this case, we saw a styrofoam box. Eric saved the day with a perfect harpoon shot. We stayed in a mooring field by Posador on the island of Lestovo. The mooring field is close to a small island with really great snorkeling all around it. Pasador has a small bridge that connects two bays on either side of the island.
This is quickly becoming a theme in our videos. That's right, another opportunity for ice cream is never passed up. While we're on the island, my brother wanted to explore some of the same tunnels we had explored in one of our previous visits to Lesovo. So off we went to see the mountain tunnels and the sea tunnels used for military purposes in the past. But you, you did this until the end? Wow, look how big that is. Oh my god. Go through this hole. Go through this hole. To some, like, comes out. There's probably a building. Oh, you know what? Like a lookout so they can see on that side and then they can run. Yeah. I mean, look how long it's like that. One really nice thing about exploring the tunnels was that it was very cool inside. What do you think? That was really cool. I mean, it's just, you get the mentality of that period, you know? Yeah. What they had to come up with to hide ammunition and secret military bases and things like that. If you can imagine, if you can imagine these days, like, oh, there's an island that nobody knew about and it's near Hawaii. <laughs> Yeah, it's Tropical Island. It's an and uncharted no island. Stop. And they lived there for 20 years or something. It's like, oh, I blend in with this shirt. No one predator is going to get me. Here's a really creative structure somebody built on the beach. I had to add my own little bit of creativity to this wonderful structure. Some of the best conversations we've had is when we slow down and allow ourselves time to dive deep into subjects we normally don't have time to talk about. And there's no better place to have these conversations than on a beach. Well, I think my brain is melting from the heat, so we have to get back into the water. Okay, how hot is it? Hot. My brother and I have spent a great deal of time snorkeling together and diving, and it's a special moment for me when we get to do this again together. If anyone knows what these are, please put it in the comments. I'd really love to know. I feel very fortunate that my brother and I have another opportunity to dive and to snorkel together again. Since coming to Croatia, we've heard several times people commenting about the fact that there are no fish left in Croatia. And that might be true of sports fish. But if you know where to go and you know how to find them, there are a lot of fish that you can see underwater by snorkeling or free diving. They're typically in very rocky places and typically away from where there's a lot of people. There actually are a lot of fish in Croatia if you know where to find them. And they're beautiful. The underwater highlight of all time for me in Croatia is when Eric pointed out the school of about 100 barracuda, each a little more than a meter long. Diving down about five meters and being circled by the curious barracuda was something I will never forget. He 
Hey everyone, thanks so much for watching. We really appreciate you taking the time out of your day to watch our videos. Yeah, we really like making the videos and we're happy if you're happy. And thanks for leaving comments. We really appreciate that too. Yep. And we'll see you next week on Sailing Blackbird. Have a great week. Bye. Bye.